The family of Mr. Basil Eshet has celebrated the life and times of late Mrs. Anne Basil Basi Eshet, aged 116, in Ikorimo in Nsrubim local government area of Akwaibom State. The service, which drew attendance of well-meaning individuals from various parts of the state and beyond, featured tributes from family, friends and community leaders who shared their memories of the life well spent. ADBN correspondent Innocent Nwite completes the reports. Today marked a pugnate event in the community of Ikotimo, Nsiribium, local government area. As family, friends and residents came together to celebrate the remarkable life of late Mrs. Annie Basil, Basi Eshet. Late Mrs. Eshet, who reached the enviable age of 116, was revered not only for her longevity, but also for her love, contribution to her community and unwavering spirit. The funeral service held at Adiaobon Girls Secondary School was solemn yet uplifting, filled with heartfelt tributes and found memories shared by loved ones. Reflecting on the significance of the occasion, non-executive director Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, Dr. Eunice Thomas, a granddaughter of the late Mrs. Annie Basil Basi Asiet, described her as a pillar of strength and wisdom to her and the entire community. The opportunity to um, express my gratitude to God for such a wonderful grandmother. This is Annie Bibeshe, was my grandmother, who at most also was my very good friend. She was um, one that I would call a superstar lover. Manny was a caregiver. She was virtuous in every sense of that word, virtuous. Ma taught me distinct, discreet, succinct life uh, lessons, many of which most women do not know. It was Ma who taught me to watch and not speak. She taught me how to watch and she said, while watching, you had to be observant, you had to be thorough in watching and that you only had to listen while watching. She taught me to speak last and to speak wisely. The chief mourner, Mr. Ime Basi, the only surviving son, alongside the grandchildren, highlighted her life, exemplified resilience, faith, and love for others, saying they celebrate not only her passing, but the enduring impact she has left on the family. My mother was a good woman, no two ways about it. Like you heard every other person say. My mother left people now to come and marry my mother in a quiet home here in the calling mom. With all the trouble she faced in her marriage, she stayed on because of her children, because of us. That she doesn't want to leave, she will stay. Unfortunately, a lot of the children died. But God spared my life. The witness I'm very hard today. We are not mourning, we are celebrating. She was even over 116, but we've lost count. So we just chose to give her that 116. Nobody's mourning, as you can see. We are all celebrating, we are happy. I saw love, and I saw purity, I saw sincerity in every aspect of her life. She will tell you the truth just as it is. And when she wants to go all out for you, she will go all out for you. For real. You know, this is one family, I would say that they have love indwelling in them. The superintendent Kwaibom Church Akwaibom Superintendency, Reverend Gabriel Oton, in his message at the service, reminded Christians of the core purpose of life, emphasizing the essence of our existence lies in knowing God, loving God, and having a passionate commitment to God. No position in life is worth the knowledge of God. So if you are in any position in life and you don't have a personal knowledge of the Lord Jesus, I want you to come back to him now that I may know him. I know my Redeemer lives. Amen. 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 To know God has to do with counting all other things but lost. To know Late Mrs. Esset family express their gratitude for the outpouring of support from friends and community members. Following the service, there was a procession to the family house where late Mrs. Esset was finally laid to rest amid solemn farewells. Innocent Mwite, ADBN News.